You did back up your important Windows data, right? If not, mm -mm -mm. you probably won't lose it, but it's still a good safety measure. Anyway, here we are booting the GNOME Partition Editor from the CD drive. It's Linux. Choose a language. Choose a keyboard layout. Have a few other choices. You can just go to the default, the default, the default once again. Your usual screen um, resolution or one smaller. We're not going to browse fancy websites. Just do one thing. Right here. And we're seeing a typical Windows XP partition. One giant one covering the whole hard drive. The little yellow space at the left represents the programs and data we have on it. As you can see, this one is almost empty. Okay, so we right click here, which gives us a menu, and we go to Resize Move. We're going to resize. Grab that little arrow, pull it. So we have about half in this case, although how much of your hard drive you want to devote to Linux and how much to Windows is up to you. And now we apply this and check again. Yes, we really do want to. Now, some people and some automatic utilities for partitioning have you do the whole thing at once. First resize the one partition and then make all the new ones in one lump. We're not going to do this because Windows is touchy and we want to make sure that Windows still works so we can dual boot. So we click down here, we eject the CD, comes out, and now we shut the computer off with the switch if we have to, and we'll probably have to, and let Windows boot because we don't have the CD in. It'll boot from the hard drive and all that's on it is Windows. Now watch this. See Windows is doing a little self check because of the hard drive partition change. This is why we stopped and we're rebooting now. It's a Windows thing, not a Linux thing, and we do still, I think, well you at least want to have Windows still available to you. Anyway, Windows will reboot, and now finally, we can move on and make Linux partitions. Oh boy.